Good morning guys and welcome to Cameron Highlands. We just arrived here yesterday from Kuala Lumpur. We got the bus and it was only about four hours. So yeah. a really easy journey. Cost us 38 ringgit each, which is not even... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on the screen anyway, put it on the but screen. it was cheap. It was also a really comfy bus. We had these huge seats and they were really comfy. They reclined a lot and we had a charger. So win-win. So we've been in Cameron Highlands probably about 12 hours now. We arrived last night and it's this morning. We've been out for breakfast and first impressions, it's a stunning place. It just seems really off the beaten track compared to anywhere else we've been. There's a few tourists, you know, we've seen a few tourists, especially in our hostel. We've met some really nice people here, but in terms of just walking around, it just seems like a lot of locals, a lot of really nice places. It seems like a really beautiful place. So we've got a bike today and we're going to explore. Um, I think we're going to head to the strawberry farm now, pick some strawberries and I think have maybe like a strawberry coffee or strawberry milkshake there. It's meant to be a really nice place to just chill out. So also it's worth noting, it's a weird weather change from Kuala Lumpur to Cameron Highlands. It's actually really quite cool temperatures. Hence I've got a jumper on for the first time in ages. When we arrived here last night, I was actually cold for the first time in what feels like forever because Kuala Lumpur and Borneo were so humid and so hot, but here is much, much cooler temperatures. We're staying at somewhere called De Narrative, De, De Native, De Native Guest House. There really is not a huge backpacker scene here. I know there is a few tourists and travelers around, but there's only a handful of actual hostels on Hostel World to choose from. The other one that we were looking at had lots of reports of bed bug so we decided not to go there so this was kind of our second best option but anyways join us for a day in Cameron Highlands don't really know what we're up to today I think our first stop as Callum said will be the strawberry farm and then we'll see where the day takes us So I did a little bit of research into why there's so many strawberry farms and produce here. And it's actually because Cameron Highlands is the center of strawberry production in Malaysia due to the high altitude, which creates a cool wet climate throughout the year, making it an ideal location for growing strawberries. Because of this, it also means the soil is very fertile and suitable for cultivation of various kinds of plants, especially tea plants as well, which would explain why strawberries and tea is such a massive thing here. So coming back from the strawberry shop, we didn't end up actually doing any strawberry picking. I don't really think it's the season for strawberry picking here at the moment because there wasn't actually a lot of them left. On the map, I could see that there was a waterfall really near to where we were. So we've just come to visit the waterfall and actually it's inside the Cameron Valley Tea sort of village. So that is where we are at the minute. We didn't realize you needed actual admission to go down to the waterfall. It was either 15 ringgit per person, so three pounds, if you wanted the tram access to go up and down to the waterfall, or it was only four ringgit if you're gonna walk it. And to be honest, look at where we are. It's a no brainer that we're gonna walk it. This is beautiful. We've not quite been anywhere like this in actually a long while. Where was the last time we were somewhere like this? Probably Hajang. The waterfall is just behind this tree over here. Apparently it's only like a one kilometer walk and we've got to go downhill, but hopefully the waterfall is worth it. Maybe I should have guessed by the name, but apparently these are actually all the tea leaves and that is why it's called the Cameron Highlands Tea Valley. I don't know how you didn't know that. I don't know. I just thought because it's popular to have tea here. <laughs> So we've just stopped to grab some lunch. We've got some chicken nuggets and chips and Callum has gone for a nice wholesome chicken burger. And this is our view right now. What a better place to have a lunch spot. Two hours later. Current situation is we just had some lunch. We decided then that we were gonna drive towards the Flora, Flora Valley or something like that here in Cameron Highlands. And we were making our way there and there was just gridlock traffic on the roads, like literally nonstop traffic. Callum was wading through the traffic on the bike for a little while and then we just decided call it quits and turn around. We've now just decided to recharge and come back to the hostel for a minute. The bike will not drive two of us up the hill. So Callum's gone ahead on the bike and I'm left to walk up this incline on my own. Tomorrow we've got a long list of places that we want to go with the bike so I think today was just sort of scouting out Cameron Highlands, seeing what was around and seeing what the vibe is but tomorrow I think we're going to get out a little bit earlier and hopefully see some more stuff before the traffic builds up but right now I think we're just going to have a little bit of a reset, play some games, maybe a game of pool or two and figure out what we're going to do this afternoon. 
Good morning, it's another day in the beautiful Cameron Highlands here in Malaysia. Last night we did exactly what I think I said on the vlog that we were going to do. We did end up just having dinner and playing some cards and went to bed. We're up bright and early, it's about eight or half eight right now. I think we're gonna go and get some breakfast and then head out on our adventures early. Our hope today is that we're gonna avoid the traffic by getting out early, because yesterday the traffic was absolutely nuts. It is the school holidays here in Malaysia, so I think that's why the roads were so gridlocked yesterday, but fingers crossed that if we're up and out early enough, we should avoid most of that. Today we've got quite a few spots that we want to hit before we leave here tomorrow so come with us for another day here in Cameron Highlands and see what we get up to. This morning we've come back to have breakfast at the same place that we actually ate at yesterday. It's just a very local cafe, there's a lot of locals here, it's just a stretch of cafes and restaurants to the left. This one is called the Yong Teng Cafe and we've come here because they had the most delicious looking fresh fruit pancakes on their menu and this really reminded us of Vietnam. This one is the pineapple apple pancake with honey. Callum's is the banana pancake with honey. I've also just gone for an orange juice and Callum's got a coffee. These pancakes are only seven ringgit, which I think is like less than £1.50. Very, very cheap and so delicious as well. Well, that hardly took me very long. Um, breakfast complete. This cafe is actually also a family run business, I believe, and the owners are both deaf and they're so, so lovely and just, it's a really nice vibe here and delicious food, very cheap. 10 out of 10. Right, shall we make our move to the Mossy Forest? I think we shall, well, I'll be driving, but yeah. Drive is what, about an hour? 16 minutes. Oh. To the entrance point. Even better. Yep. So according to the last clip, we were getting on the bike and we were gonna drive up to Mossy Forest today. However, we did hear and we did say that the roads were a bit iffy and we weren't too sure. And also if you drive all the way up, then you lose the deposit on the bike. So we ended up hailing down this car here, um, this four x four with another group in it and then parking up the bike right at the bottom. And now we've just kind of hitchhiked a ride up to the top for 20 ringgit. So really not too much, but let's see how we get on. The Mossy Forest was pretty underwhelming for what we had expected. It's very pretty to see the views and the nature up there, but otherwise it was quite a long way to go just to walk a short trail through the trees, in our opinion. Not to mention it's quite a faff to get up there by transport unless you decide to hike to the top, which obviously we didn't do. But if you do have spare time when you're staying here, it's definitely still something to add to your list. That was weird. weird sound. Sounded like a drone. Entry to the Mossy Forest is 10 ringgit per person and it's actually only 200 meters long, which I didn't realize. Let me correct that, it's 10 ringgit per person for citizens, non-citizens it's 30 ringgit per person. Oh, is it? Yeah. Successfully managed to hitchhike up, successfully managed to hitchhike back down. Now we are reunited with our bike. Our next stop of the day is the Lavender Gardens here in Cameron Highlands. So I think it's about a 10 minute drive from the entrance point and we'll be on our way. <laughs> got a floor flower. I didn't pick it. It was on the side already. I think somebody else might have used it. Pretty. Me with my castle. So what are we doing now, Luce? Strawberry picking. We finally found one with good enough strawberries to be able to actually do our own strawberry picking. We will... There's so many. The... Like, literally, look how many yeah. there is. But you can tell they obviously take way more care of their strawberry farm here than anywhere else that we've seen. A lot of the other places tend to just have them open for public to just walk into, pick, and then pay for how much they get. Whereas this place, it has barriers, so it's locked up, and then only people who are coming to pick. And then you also have to just snip them off with scissors, which also keeps the plant healthier. Unpopular opinion, I'm not really that big of a fan of strawberries. I don't know what it is, there's just something about the texture of them that I just find a bit weird. I like the flavour in drinks and stuff, but yeah, in terms of the actual fruit, it's not for me. Oh look, that's a good one right there. Blimey. Wait, wait. Look at that one. 
No, I think it's a no. bit weird. The texture's off. This is how my basket is looking so far, but I don't know how much it weighs and I don't want to go over, so we're just coming over here to check the weight. Update, they only currently weigh 130 and a minimum to be able to buy them is 200 grams, so I can actually pick some more, yay! Okay, so let's see the basket loose. I don't know what this weighs, it could be over. We'll find out, won't we? Let's see. Um, oh, so, oh, oh. do you reckon one more? One. Yeah. Oh, you got one there? Yes, one hundred. Yeah, just one from there. Oh, yeah. If it's over 200, will it be uh, more? If you, uh, you take the small one. Does that count? Is that it's okay? Truff ringgit, 30 cents. Happy? 30 cents. Yeah. Well, I hope they taste good. I'm happy with them from what they look like, but it's only if they're juicy. Don't forget to wash them. And that is the end of our Cameron Highlands vlog. We've been here three days now. It's also rainy season in Malaysia. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but it has been pretty much raining all day today. We did have a few other plans of places that we wanted to visit today, but to be honest, we drove past a few of them and they looked a little bit like just not really worth our time. Not to mention as well, they were very, very busy, full of kids on the school holidays. But I would say the main points that we wanted to visit here, like the mossy forest and the tea plantage as well. All in all, I would definitely say that if you are traveling through Malaysia, Asia. Cameron Highlands has been a really nice place to visit. It's a very, very small little village. There's not even a shopping market. There's no gas stations within the vicinity. So there's really not a lot here. But if you do have a few extra days, it's a really, really beautiful place to visit. And there is actually a lot to do, especially if you rent a bike. I feel like if you didn't have a bike, you'd be kind of lacking things to do because you do have to drive out to get to a lot of them. Tomorrow we are getting on the bus nice and early. We are heading towards Penang and Georgetown area. So hopefully a lot more vlogs coming in the next few days after Georgetown. Town will be heading to Langkawi which is also really really exciting. Do look out for the rest of the Malaysia vlogs as well. If you haven't yet caught up with any of our other Asia vlogs then I will link the playlist right here on the screen. For anyone new watching me today we have already been to the north of Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, the Philippines, Singapore and now we're in Malaysia. So definitely make sure to check out the content if you haven't already. I've been working really hard on getting these vlogs up so that you guys can see what a backpacker's life is like in Asia. If you did enjoy watching this video of our last few days in the Highlands then please make sure to leave a big thumbs up leave us a comment down below and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and you want to see more but i'm going to leave this one here thank you so much once again for watching and i hope to see you very soon in the next one bye i'm really sorry oh my god Just came out. <laughs> bye